All this week we are honoring those on the front line in the fight against COVID. Every nurse in our community has gone above and beyond the call of duty this year to help others. Madison Magazine is highlighting the top nurses in our area in a cover story called The Lion Hearts, featuring nurses nominated by their peers, healthcare leaders, and community members. The magazine is recognizing winners in three categories of innovation, practice, and leadership. And tonight we feature one of the winners in the practice award. Here's our Leah Linscheid with the story. Stories of compassion within the healthcare community aren't hard to find, but one nurse practitioner at the William S. Middleton Memorial Veterans Hospital, Rachel Ruland, shows us how she became like family for people going through their hardest times. For most of us, a hospital feels anything like home. We're used to touching our patients. We're used to being very close. That's not how nurse practitioner Rachel Ruland feels, though. We're used to being like nurturing, compassionate people, touching our family, you know, hugging, things like this don't occur anymore. And family is how Rachel considers her coworkers at the VA hospital. And like most of us, Rachel would do anything for family. It's heartbreaking for nursing. So when the COVID-19 pandemic first hit, she requested a transfer to the VA's intensive care unit to help prepare for a potential surge. She was asked to create a role for nurse practitioners, not normally found in ICU settings. But her managers say she went above and beyond, extending that sense of family to include loved ones not allowed inside hospital walls. My role is, the, the sad part about COVID is that uh, patients' family members can't be here and can't see what their loved one is experiencing. We were doing a lot of iPad communication with families, having um, meetings where we were updating families about their loved one's care, um, trying to kind of keep them in the loop despite the fact that they're not able to be there with their loved one, which has been the most challenging part of this. That's not where Rachel's hospitality ends. In late March, she volunteered to transfer to Hard Hit Chicago, moving with just a day's notice to the VA hospital there to work 12-hour ICU shifts. There, case numbers were high, and patients often only had nurses to turn to for comfort. You really develop a unique connection with somebody through this experience. It's really hard to describe. It's just, it's a feeling, it's a feeling that you're really you're really helping somebody. You might wonder what pushes Rachel to go above and beyond. Just before the pandemic, grief really hit home. At that time, uh, my father was in hospice and we were kind of caring for him. And basically, I really had a strong, um, basically a calling to kind of help on a bigger picture um, and kind of help patients who maybe or experiencing somewhat um, of a moral distress situation that was happening in my own life, I guess. It's that experience with her own father that has expanded Rachel's sense of family to encompass so many across the Midwest, from Madison to Chicago and back. And as the pandemic shows no signs of slowing down, she has a message for her healthcare community. And I would probably make a shout out to all my fellow nurses. Um, just caring for patients all over Wisconsin, um, just to stay strong, stay healthy, um, know that their work is appreciated more than they probably know it is. And that sentiment of teamwork is heard from all of the nominees. For News 3 Now, I'm Leah Lynchide. A News 3 Now special presentation on all of the winners and nearly 60 nominees will be rebroadcast Christmas Day at 5 p.m. And we'll be right back with more Live at 4 right after this.